Guys, take a look at this YouTube short video over here because I'm gonna show you how to create these YouTube short videos that get millions of views every single month and you can earn thousands of dollars utilizing these simple videos where you don't need to show your face, you don't even need a camera, you don't need to film anything or potentially use your own voice. But that's not the only way you're going to make money with these YouTube short videos because I'm gonna show you how to create all these products absolutely for free that you can sell and make hundreds if not thousands of dollars on a daily basis. This is really simple and these YouTube short videos get millions of views. This video got 4.2 million views two weeks ago. These other videos get hundreds of thousands of views. Why? Because YouTube shorts at the moment and YouTube is getting pushed by YouTube and these videos get millions of views, which is why on this video, I wanna show you exactly how to take advantage of this YouTube short craze at the moment so you can start to make money with YouTube shorts and I'll show you everything step by step. So if you're ready to get started with something that's really simple, keep watching. What's up you guys, Alan here again from the Smart Money Tactics channel. Like I said to you in the intro today, I've got another brilliant YouTube Shorts tutorial that you can utilize to make money online, guys. This is probably one of the laziest ways that you can make money with YouTube Shorts because this niche gets a lot of views Plus, I'm going to show you how you can double down and make a lot of money. And I'll show you proof of somebody that is doing this, guys. As you know, YouTube Shorts is taking off to the point that YouTube is putting in $100 million. And I want to show you this again because I get a lot of comments on my channel with people saying you can't monetize YouTube Shorts. And you absolutely can. YouTube is telling you themselves that they're putting in the short fund okay and it's not just limited to the youtube partner program which means if you're already in the youtube partner program you can already start to earn money with anybody that goes onto these different videos but i want to show you today how to take this another step further in the short baby niche okay as you can see these are different types of youtube short videos get thousands of views, hundreds of thousands of views, and millions of views. The best part is, for you, you don't need to create any of these videos. You don't need to have a camera, guys. There's not a lot of editing that you need to do, and you never need to show your face, okay? You just need to create this content and put it out there. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do that, and then how to double down on the back of this. You can see here that just two weeks ago, this video got three, million of views as a short video 1.3 million when you come over to youtube and you take a look at funny babies or kids videos guys it's not just in the shorts that gets a lot of views you can see here that these videos also get a lot of views if you've been following my channel you will learn exactly how you can monetize these different types of videos because people do them all the time it's about making enough changes on videos that aren't yours to make it your own content so that YouTube considers you for the YouTube Partner Program. But before that happens, how do you turn these 41 million views or these 127 million views into money, into sales, into your own pocket? Well, that's what I'm gonna show you on this video. You see, there's channels like this one over here that are doing exactly that. And I'm gonna walk you through and show you how they're doing it because not only are they making tens of thousands of dollars in YouTube ad revenue, but this 41 million views that they're getting every single month, they're driving these views to a particular location. If you click onto any one of these shorts, let's click onto this one over here as an example. I'm gonna pause this. This is a 49 second video. I've just muted the sound. But if we scroll down over here and we click onto more, we come over here, guys, and if I click onto this link over here, let me just click onto this link. I wanna show you something. It brings you over to a website that looks like this. If I come over to their shop and I scroll down, you can see that they're promoting merch, children's merch, on the back of all these views. Now, if you were to consider how much views they get, they are making thousands of dollars every single month with this store and i want to show you exactly how to replicate this absolutely for free so you can take some of these views that you're going to start to get and turn them into cash so the first step to this guys is you need to figure out how you're going to get these videos 
then I'm going to show you how to create the merch. Then I want to show you how you're going to promote that merch on the back of these different types of videos. So the first thing that you need to do, let's say that we wanted to create a compilation video. We just wanted to take a part of a video. Let me show you how to do it. And I'll also show you how to do voiceover as well. So let's click onto this video over here. I'm going to pause this video and we're going to come over here. We're going to click onto this link. We're going to highlight this link. We're going to copy this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come over to Google. You're going to type in YouTube to MP3. And once you type in YouTube to MP3, you want to come over here and you want to click onto this link over here. Once you click onto that, guys, make sure you select MP4 paste that link in there and we're going to convert this video once you click on to convert this video is going to download onto our computer so that then we can use either the entire video parts of the video i highly recommend creating your own compilation video so click on to download mp4 now it's this is going to potentially bring up an ad no it's not there you go this video is downloading so we're going to leave that for now now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to Canva and the reason why we're coming over to Canva is we want to create a design, a logo or something for our merch and we're going to be creating our merch on a platform, this one over here called redbubble.com okay? and I'll show you exactly how to do it and I'm going to show you how you can select to make sure that it's children's merch. So what you want to do when you're on Canva over here quite simply is you want to click on to create a design once you click on to create a design you want to select 2800 by 3600 this is so that your logo or your design fits perfectly on these different types of garments so you come over here you click on to create new once you've come over here and you've selected that now what you need is you need some inspiration for your designs there's a couple of places that you can do that the first place is obviously on redbubble you can come down here and select kids and babies once you select kids and babies you can scroll down and you can have a look at all these different designs guys let me tell you do not over complicate this very simple people are still going to buy your stuff but to get ideas you can come and take a look at all the different designs the clothes are the same all you need all you want to do is create very simple designs you can do this for girls boys kids toddlers teenagers etc so this is one place where you can go to get all this inspiration another place that you can go is quite simply come over to google type in cute baby girl t-shirts boy t-shirts etc and have a look at all the different designs that you can think of or you know take inspiration from or create your own the other thing that you can do when you're on a canva over here is quite simply you can type in something like t-shirts beautiful as you can see this is how i created that intro for you so if i click onto t-shirt beautiful for example you can scroll down and you can find different types of designs over here as you can see it's just loading so you can see how something like this could potentially be on a t-shirt you could change happy sunday to something else you can call it whatever you want so let's say we wanted to use one of these designs that are already here like this one over here now you can very easily change this design to something like say it says be you beautiful be beautiful you could put something like beautiful and you can put down the bottom something like beautiful like her mother or beautiful like something etc so let's say we we wanted to use this design over here just to make it nice and simple because we don't want to get too much into the design what you would do from here is you need to download this image okay so you'd come over to canva you click on to download or select transparent background and then from here, I just want to click on to download. The reason why we're doing this is we're going to upload this exact same design over to Redbubble. We're going to create these designs. Then we're going to create these videos and we're going to promote these designs on the back of these YouTube short videos with a link in our description, which I'm going to show you how to do so that you can make money with YouTube shorts. This is super powerful stuff, guys, in a niche that's absolutely exploding and you have an opportunity to take advantage of it. So what you want to do from here is quite simply come over to Redbubble. You wanna create an account for yourself. Once you sign up to Redbubble, Redbubble is absolutely free. You, they will also drive traffic for you because a lot of people go over to Redbubble. And you can also promote it on other platforms yourself if you wanted to, but YouTube and YouTube Shorts is your best friend at the moment. So what you wanna do from here is you wanna come over to this little icon where it says account, and then you wanna select sell your merch. 
Once you click on to sell your merch, you can see here that currently I have one design active on Redbubble. So you can see here you can have up to five active designs. So you can create one for boys, girls, etc. So you want to select add design. You want to create a brand new set of garments. Okay, so select add design. Once you click on to add design from here, you want to select upload a new work. Okay, now this is the work that we've just downloaded from Canva. So you want to click on to upload new work and this is my design. So I want to double click onto that design. Now from here, quite simply, what you want to do is you want to title this um, garment section. So we can call this the baby girl brand so we can just call that baby girl brand over here with the tags you can type in baby you can type in baby clothes okay just something like that something nice and simple then over here you can describe you know what these garments are, are about so quite simply you can just say baby clothes okay nothing doesn't have to be anything um, too, uh, too detailed. Okay, so they we have it. That's our design. Now, what you need to do here, guys, Pete, please pay close attention to this because I want to show you how you can get this to kids' clothing. Okay, so see here where you have edit. This has to be done under the standard print clothing over here. What you need to do is you need to select edit. Once you select edit and you scroll down, you can see here you've got this little um, tick box over here. You wanna select that tick box. Now, as you can see, everything is selected but the kids clothing and this is a clothing label, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna get rid of the t-shirts and hoodies. You wanna select kids clothes. You want to get rid of these um, fitted scoop t-shirts, um, lightweight sweatshirts, although you can leave that because you've got small size. You want to select kids pullovers, vetted, knee, um, vetted neck t-shirts. We can potentially leave that. Leave the toddler stuff. Lightweight hoodie, we can get rid of that. Classic t-shirt, get rid of that. Relax fix t-shirt, we don't need that. Active t-shirt and try blended t-shirt we don't need that either okay so this is what we want we want the kids range okay then over here as you can see you've got different um colors that you can choose for these t-shirts etc so then what you want to do is you want to scroll down and click on to apply these changes now what's going to happen as you're going to see you'll be able to find these different types of garments and you can play around with this and you can change the design where it sits etc and i'll give you an example of exactly what i mean by that so when people are going to purchase this, they'll be able to select the color. So don't worry too much about the color. But as you can see here, let's say if you scroll down and you wanted to, you know, change one of these designs, let's say this dress over here. Now, this dress at the moment is um, disabled. You can enable that if you wanted to sell this, which you can. So you can click onto that. If you wanted to edit this, you'll select edit. And as you can see, you can play around with the size of this. You can select where you want to put it, etc., and then just select apply changes. Now, very important when it comes to things like this, let's say shower curtains, as an example, you can click on to edit. Sometimes with some of these, you can select choose pattern. And if you hit this drop down box over here, you can put regular grid or offset grid. And as you can see, this is going to look a lot better, okay? And what I mean by that is you can see that it's got a lot more of these prints. You can do the same things with scarves. You can also do the same things with um, these different types of blankets, okay? You can also do the same thing with bags and a whole heap of stuff, pillows, etc. Now, you potentially want to sell pillows, so we're going to enable that because it's kids' clothing. A bag, you want to enable that. So just go through and enable everything that you want. You want the badge, um, wooden canvas print, we'd want to enable that. Art boards, you want to enable that. This is a blanket, you'd like to enable that. We're gonna edit this and what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose this pattern. We're gonna go off grid, apply. So you just wanna go through and do all this. You definitely want the clock potentially for the kids' bedrooms. You definitely want a journal. Um, so like I said, just go through and make sure you select everything that's on here. The pillow, this is desk mats. Yeah, let's enable that as well. Okay, and once you're done guys, all you need to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom over here. And once you get down to the bottom, all you need to do is select no over here because there's no nudity. Select yes over here that you've got the rights for this. Um, and then leave that at that. And then quite simply go to save work. Now, once you go to save this work guys, what's got you'll be able to finalize this store. It's very, very simple. It doesn't take a lot of time to finalize this. And as you can see, guys, this has now downloaded. And when you scroll down over, you can see you've got these stickers, you've got masks, you've got hats, 
everything that we have selected is on here guys and when you scroll down you can have a look at all the different types of kids clothes now with the kids clothes i didn't go into it but what you could have done is made the logo a little bit bigger if you wanted to on each individual one or moved it to another location with every single design it's up to you now what you want to do that now that we have our store you want to scroll up to the top over here and as you can see you've got this view and once you click on to view basically what this is this is your store this is the link over here that you're going to be using to promote this store okay what i'm going to show you now is how you're going to use these images along with those youtube short videos so that you can make money with your youtube shorts so that you can promote these different types of garments let's just say you wanted to promote a pillow and you wanted to promote a bag and maybe one of these tops okay so when you click onto any one of these like let's say you click onto this um, toddler pullover hoodie what's going to happen is it's going to open up and as you can see you can see these different designs and you can also see exactly what this hoodie looks like so what you want to do from here we're going to pause this for a second we're going to go back and we're going to create this video now and we're going to use these different types of garments now in order to create these videos what you want to do is you want to come back over to canva again canva is your best friend with these guys and it's free to use canva so what you want to do when you're on canva is you want to select a mobile video and once you select mobile video what you're going to do from here as you can see this is the video format and we've selected the 1080 by 1920 okay so as you saw here guys this was that video that we downloaded over here and what we're going to do is we're going to grab that we're going to drag it and we're just going to drop it over the top i'm going to pause that I'm going to go to sound over here and I'm going to minimize this sound or I'm going to get rid of this sound altogether. And what we're going to do is we're going to stretch this out and we're going to make this fit. Okay. Now, when it comes to this video, what we're going to be doing, guys, if you see here, if I play this, if I remove this, so if I come over here and if I play this over here, you're going to be able to see that there's um, 46 seconds of this video. And I don't want 46 seconds of this video. What I actually want is I only want a section of the video and the section of the video I want is this section over here. So what well, quite simply, all you need to do is grab this and drag this back over to here like that. And then what you want to do is grab this section and just drag this to there because all I want is this section of the video. And if I play this, I just want to be able to see this section of the video. Now, if you wanted to create a compilation video and you wanted to change this up and add more scenes you could very easily grab this exact same entire video clip or other ones that you've downloaded so you'd grab it and then you'd put it on this second scene over here so i'm just going to pause that we can get rid of this um, sound over here and then what you could do is do the exact same okay so you can play around with this you can move this around and see exactly how much of this scene you would potentially want to use like let's say maybe you wanted to use this one as well okay so we're going to delete that so now that we have the scene that we want how are we going to add our merch collection to these scenes over here so what you want to do now is quite simply come back over to Redbubble over here and what we want to do is we want to start using these different types of garments that we've got over here to potentially promote it so let's say if we were to come over here and let's say let's see if we can copy this image like that no we can't what we can do is we can grab our snipping tool and you want to click on to new once you do that you can come across here and you can snip this image okay now once you snip this image now you can grab all these images as many images as you want you want to come over here and we're going to save this as we'll go to pictures and we can basically save this as baby merch one as an example okay so we're going to save that then what we can do is we can come back let's come back over to our other garments and see what else we want to use Now what we're going to do guys we can close this off come straight back over to canva over here now we can start to upload this so what you want to do is you want to upload these different types of images or upload media etc so click on to upload i'm going to go over to my pictures 
So as you can see now guys, all three are downloading. So what you want to do now is you can click onto this. We can expand this. Okay. I'm going to move this across here. And as you can see, it fits perfectly. Okay. So we're going to leave that one there. I'm going to grab onto this scene. We're going to grab this. We'll expand this. Okay. Expand it as much as you can so that it fits. Okay. We're going to add some animation to this as well. Then we're going to grab this clock. We'll expand this. Okay, now with the clock, you can obviously go a little bit over as well if you wanted to. All right. And we can leave that there. Now, as you can see here, guys, with this, it's got five seconds, five seconds, and five seconds. You can increase this to, say, seven seconds. Okay. We're going to increase this to seven seconds as well. Just click onto that. Leave it on seven. And then this one as well over here. And we can click on to seven as well. So in total, it's 28.7 seconds. Now, when it comes over to this product over here, you can click onto it. You've got animate as well. Now, remember, I'm going to show you how to finalize all this and get this input onto your YouTube short videos. Plus, potentially, if you wanted to do a voiceover, you absolutely can as well. So from here, guys, as you can see, you can animate. And if you select any of these, you can maybe select something like breathe because it keeps moving. Okay, so we're going to select breathe onto that one. So I'll select breathe on that one as well. I'll come over to the clock as well. Select the clock as you can see there. Select it, go to animate, and then just select a breathe. So now what we need to do, guys, is we need to put in a call to action. For example, if we come over here quite simply, if we click onto text, you can click onto this heading over here, or we can use maybe um, this text over here. It looks a little bit better. Okay, so you can come over here and you can remove this and just type in up here merch store okay so you can ex minimize this and expand this okay so merch store put that up there and then come over here and type in link in enter description okay and then you can expand this if you wanted to like that okay now you can very easily just select this guys and then change the color of this if you wanted to okay double click onto this and then maybe select yellow it's up to you and the other thing that you can do with this is you can drag this down a little bit you can click onto this again you've got effects you can play around with effects but you've also got animate and as you can see, you can play around with this and you can, you know, put typewriter as an example, or you can put burst. Okay. So it's going to look a little bit better. And all this is going to move together. You can pretty much grab this entire scene that you've got here, guys. You can copy this, come straight over to here and then control V just paste this in there. Okay. You can move that down. And as you can see, it's in there and you can do the exact same over here as well, guys. So just control V paste. And that'll sit there you can just move this down so now you've got this now i think when it comes to the animation you've got to add the animation as you can see this has animation so if you were to play this okay so if you come over here and play this but if you were to move this over to here okay it's already got it in there so that's perfect all right now what we need to do is we need to put this sound back so if you click onto this guys you can see here you've got this sound over here so we're going to put that back up now you don't necessarily need to do anything with this part of the sound okay but what we can do with these parts of it okay is we can very easily put some sound over here in terms of a voiceover okay now there's a software that i spoke about on one of my previous videos which is this one over here called well said labs okay these guys you can try absolutely for free okay for the first seven days otherwise what you can do is just search for free voiceover services and you can very easily add them onto canva as well but let's say you downloaded this for the next seven days what you could very easily do the first let's say sound that we wanted to have is we could very easily come over here and type in something like let's say this first bit we can type in something like this is so funny as an example okay now if you create this okay you're going to be able to hear this and then what you're going to see is we're going to play this so let's play this this is so funny okay we're going to leave that we're going to download this okay so that's the first one that we're going to download the second one we're going to download is buy my amazing 
baby merch. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hit create. And as you can see, we're going to play this. Buy my amazing baby merch. Okay. So that's the second one. And then we're going to put the store link is in the description of this video. Okay. So just do that. And we're going to put these all together. Okay. So we're going to create this and we're going to hit play. Okay. So the store in. link is in the description of this video. All right. So we're going to download this and then we're going to download this. Okay. So that's perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come back over to Canva over here and quite simply, we're going to grab each one of these. We're going to upload it. So let's grab this one first. And once you upload that, what you want to do guys is you want to click onto this. Okay, and then you can play this. So let me play this for you. This is so funny. And as you can see, that's playing on this. That sounds really good. Now with this, you can move this over, guys. So maybe you can put this here if you don't want to put it straight away. So when it starts playing. This is so funny. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one that we want is we want this clip over here. So we're going to drop this in here as well. But we're going to drop it on the second scene over here. Okay, now that's downloading. What we're going to do is we're going to click on that. Now that's over here. So all we need to do is grab this and just drag it over to here, something like that. So once it starts playing, and as you can see, it's going to sound like that. So when you play this, buy my amazing baby merch. Okay. So you're going to see that they're going to say link in the description. Now what we need to do is we're going to grab the third one. Okay. And we're going to put this over to here. All right. So that's downloading now. And again, you got to click onto it. Is in the then you want to grab this and you want to drag this say to here. All right. Now, when you come over here, guys, if we were to play this, let's play the entire one and then we're going to download it. This is so funny. Buy my amazing baby merch. The store link is in the description of this video. All right, so I'm going to pause that guys. Now, one of the things that I've realized with this is that potentially this is too long. So quite simply, you'd come over here. You can make this say four seconds. Okay, so just come over here, change this to four seconds. As you can see, that's going to lower that. Come over to here, make this four seconds and then change this to four seconds as well. Okay, so that's done now. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to come over here and we need to click on to download. Now that's 20 seconds long. Quite simply click on to download and set it up as an MP4 video. Okay. And then come down here and click on to download. Now this video is downloading onto our computer. And once this video downloads onto our computer, I'm going to show you how to upload this and add that link to the description of your video. All right, guys. So this video has just finished downloading onto our computer. So from here, you need to come over to your YouTube channel and you want to upload this video. So you'll need to create a YouTube channel for yourself. Once you click on to upload video, you now want to grab this video and quite simply drop it over here. Once you drop that in there, this is going to start to download. Now I'm just going to get rid of my description over here because it's just a generic description. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to put your own description. Now, the first thing that you want to do over here is enter a title. Okay. Now this is going to be a funny baby video dancing. Okay. And then over here, we're going to have hashtag shorts. Okay. Very important. Now to get inspiration guys for all these different types of titles, quite simply come over to all these different videos and have a look at this. Another thing that I recommend doing guys is potentially getting, you know, uh, a software called vidIQ like this one over here that I have because if you type in something like funny baby videos or funny dancing whatever it is you scroll down you can see exactly how many views these different types of videos get okay and you can quite simply take a look and choose ones that you think fit the type of video that you're putting up there now obviously funny videos is a good one funny baby videos funny um, baby videos dancing as an example so you can come over you can enter that see how many views that gets as you can see so 3200 it's going to give you different things now as you can see you try not to laugh is looked at about 3600 3 million 606 thousand times which is why this channel over here you will see that a lot of the times try not to laugh etc but again 
you can very easily take inspiration. Now, when you click onto any one of their videos over here, guys, and you scroll down, you can see they don't really have a lot in their description besides a lot of different types of links. So you can see here the first sentence over here pretty much is the same as the title. And the reason why you do that, so funny baby videos, okay, funny baby video dancing, you wanna copy that. You'd come over here, guys, and you would paste that in there. And then over here, quite simply, because we've got it inside the video, we've got a call to action, okay? All you need to do is write something like, click here to access my baby merch store. Now, what I recommend that you do is you create a number of these stores and when you do, depending on the video that you make, so if you make one about, you know, toddlers, put your merch store about toddlers, children, children, boys, boys, girls, girls, etc. And then from there, what you wanna do guys is you wanna come back over to the store that you've created, as you can see here, and then see this little share arrow, you wanna click onto that share arrow and then you quite simply want to copy this link over here. This is the link that you're gonna be using to promote this store. Then quite simply come back over to your channel over here and paste that. Now, anytime somebody clicks onto this, it's gonna take them over to your merch store, okay? And when they come over to this merch store and they scroll down, they have the opportunity to buy all these different types of products, guys. And you can keep adding products to this. You can keep changing the colors. You can do whatever you want, okay? And all you need to do is rinse and repeat and keep uploading. You don't need to create a thumbnail, guys. You can on Canva if you want to. As you'll notice, this channel over here, all they do is grab three different snippets from their video and they are uploading these different types of thumbnails, although you don't need to do that. Now, when it comes to the tags, when you scroll down over here, you are gonna need to enter some tags, guys. A lot of these different channels, when you click onto them and you scroll down, you can see the different types of tags that they use in order to get these different tags or to get this extension, vidIQ is the software that will help you do that so you can see this. And then from there, guys, once you create these different types of YouTube short videos and your video starts taking off and you start to get a lot of different subscribers and you're getting a lot of views and sales, then you can start to create a longer type of videos with voiceovers and that's your best chance to get your channel monetized so you can take your channel from YouTube shorts so you can start to make money with YouTube ad revenue so you can get your watch hours, etc. to one of the easiest and the laziest ways that you can make money with YouTube Shorts. So there you have it guys, one of the laziest ways that you can make money with YouTube Shorts. Don't forget to smash that like button in appreciation and subscribe for more content that's coming out. But if you wanna know how to use even more AI content to create different types of YouTube videos, click onto this video over here right now to get all the answers of what you need to create videos without doing a lot. I'll see you on that video. Until next time, you take care of yourselves and goodbye.